Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your sixth Webpack tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at the SAS loader. So, in the last video we created this simple CSS file. Then we used the styles loader and the CSS loader to input that CSS into our JavaScript and the DOM where we needed it. Now, Webpack can also help us turn SAS code into CSS as well and we can do that using the SAS loader. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is just transform this into a SAS file, then we'll transpile that SAS into CSS and then require it as normal here. So first of all, let's change the extension of this. So I'm going to go to rename and I'm going to call this intro component.scss. So that's a CSS, uh, sorry, that's a SAS extension now. So I'm going to use a couple of SAS rules here. Now, if you don't know what SAS is, check out my SAS for Beginners playlist, but I'm just going to keep this really simple. I'm going to declare a variable up here at the top, and I'm going to call this a main color, and I'm going to set this equal to 7777BB, okay? So that's a variable now, which we can reference down here. So instead of, say, background maroon, this time I'm going to say background is going to be main color, like so. Cool. Also, we can nest styles in SAS, so let's do a quick one of those. We'll say h1 text transform uppercase. Okay, let's save that. And what that is going to do is target, if we open the index.html, this thing right here because it's a nested style, it's inside this. Okay, so now what we need to do is install the SAS loader. Now the SAS loader depends on another package called node SAS to work. So we're actually gonna to have to install both of these, uh, those two packages. So I'm gonna open up the terminal right now and install those. Just wanna navigate into the webpack playlist first of all. Then I'm gonna run npm install. And then first of all, node SAS, and then the SAS loader. We're going to save both of these to our dev dependencies. So hit enter, let those install. Okay, so once both of those have installed, just check your webpack.config, rather not that, the package.json, and come down here to see if node sass is there yet, and the sass loader, cool. So now we can use that. So the first thing we need to do is configure this loader in the webpack.config file. Now we don't need to create a new loader for it, because now instead of testing for CSS, we're going to test for sass files. So let's just tack on an S at the start of there. This time it's going to look for this extension, which is a SAS file. And what we want to do is then also pipe the SAS loader on into this thing right here. So let's just do exclamation mark SAS loader. So again, what that's going to do is convert the SAS into CSS. Then the CSS loader is going to put that CSS into our JavaScript. The style loader then puts that CSS into the DOM, okay? So we're tacking all of those three together. So let's save that now. And if we come down here and run Webpack and hit enter, you'll notice that we get an error. And that is because in script one, we have not changed this to SCSS because no longer are we requiring the CSS file, we're requiring the SAS file. So if we save that now and rerun Webpack, this time it should work. Okay, cool. So let's just check this out in a browser. And now you'll see we've got the text transform of the H1 and we've got that new purpley background color as well. Sweet. So that is the SAS loader and that's how we can work with SAS using Webpack. So that is the last video in this series. There is more to Webpack than this. This is just kind of like a beginner series. And in fact, what I'm going to be doing right after this series is a React one. And in that, I'm going to be using the Webpack dev server, and I'm also going to be converting JSX code to vanilla JavaScript using Webpack as well. So make sure you stay tuned for that one and check out that if you want to learn more. So until then, any questions, leave those down below. Otherwise, don't forget to share, subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys in the very next playlist.